Welcome back. At this point, you should have completed the Rescue Ecotech overview training before starting the technical course. If for some reason you are starting here, I would suggest you consider completing the overview training before continuing. Okay, let's get started with a quick review of the Rescue Ecotech. The Rescue Ecotech was specifically designed as a drop and replacement for the older PSC or permanent split capacitor technology. The patented motor controls allows for wiring exactly like a PSC motor, meaning there are no changes in wiring required. The motor is up to 82% efficient. It has five speeds, including a 600 RPM continuous fan speed for improved indoor air quality. It is a constant torque design with active airflow management. The Rescue Ecotech is available in four multi-horsepower model numbers. 5522ET, one-third to one-fifth horsepower. 5532ET, one-half to one-quarter. 5542ET, three-quarter to a third. And lastly, 5552ET, one horsepower down to one-half horsepower. All of these models are dual voltage and reversible, making them an excellent truck stock motor. Just stocking the 5552 and the 5532, you have covered the horsepower range from one horse all the way down to one quarter horse. Wiring the Ecotech is basically the same as the original PSC motor you are replacing. The patented motor control senses the high voltage signals from the furnace or air handler board to tell the motor which speed to run. Here's an example of wiring a PSC motor. The wiring of the motor is pretty simple. High speed connected to the cool tap, medium speed to heat, and red or fan speed connected to the fan pin. And of course the two capacitor leads to the cap. Here's the Ecotech wiring example. Notice essentially the same high speed for cool or AC tap and medium to heat and fan speed to low. The only major change is there is not a capacitor with the Ecotech. The person doing the installation has to make no additional changes to wiring to use an ECM product in place of a legacy PSC motor. Not all older furnace or air handler boards have a dedicated constant or continuous fan pin location. Don't worry, we have you covered. The Rescue Ecotech comes with a Y harness jumper. This wiring harness is installed by removing the high voltage lead typically black in color, which is coming from the safety door switch to the control board. Remove this lead from the control board and plug it into the black lead on the Y harness. The other end of the Y harness with both black and red wires is attached to the pin location you just removed the high voltage wire from. The red low speed lead from the motor is then attached to the red lead on the wiring harness. The motor is now wired, so when the system power is on, and the door is closed, the system will run on continuous fan. It will continue to run until there is a call for heat or cool, and the motor control sensing the additional signal will ramp the motor speed up to whichever is being called for, heat or cool. When the thermostat is satisfied, the call for heat or cool is no longer being made to the Ecotech, the motor will ramp back down to the 600 RPM continuous fan speed and continue to circulate the air throughout the home. The only disadvantage to this installation is the homeowner does not have control at the thermostat to turn off continuous fan. The contractor can take an extra step by adding a normally closed single pole single throw 24 volt relay to the system to give control back to the thermostat. The G-wire must remain disconnected from the system control board and run directly to the relay. This configuration can be found in the installation manual and gives the option to enable or disable the fan mode at the thermostat. Now that we have shown the wiring options, we need to review how to select the correct speed setting for the horsepower of the motor you are replacing. There are five colored lead wires for the different speed slash horsepower options. All leads are 36 inches long from the molded plug motor end to the female spade terminal for easy connection to the control board. The plug is inserted into the motor with the safety tab pointed away from the shaft end of the motor. The leads are arranged from left to right in the plug starting with red, the 600 RPM continuous fan speed, orange, medium low, blue, medium, 
yellow, medium high, and black high speed. Obviously you will not use all five leads when you are replacing a PSC motor. So let's look at how you select the correct speed or leads you will use. This chart can be found on the side of all four Rescue Ecotech motors, making it simple to find the correct wiring by horsepower. Locate the horsepower of the PSC motor you are replacing on the left hand side of the chart. For our example, let's say we have a third horsepower and the motor we are going to use is a 5532ET in the top column. Using the chart shows we will use yellow medium high for cool and blue medium for heat. The red lead will always go to constant or continuous fan with any remaining leads connected to park on the board or wire tied out of the way. Keep in mind the Rescue Ecotech is a strong motor. If the PSC motor you are replacing was at the low end of the horsepower range for that particular system, you may need to adjust the speed selection. This chart shows the flexibility of the Rescue Ecotech models and can help when selecting which motors to stock on your service vehicle. As noted earlier, all Ecotech models are dual voltage. Out of the box, the motor is set up for 230 volt. To change to 115 volt, you simply take the 115 change plug provided with every motor, open the plastic door with the 230 volt printed on it, and insert the voltage change plug. You can then tear off or remove the 230 volt plastic door tab, and your motor is set up for 115 volt. Selecting the direction of rotation is also simple. The position of the common white lead wire selects the direction of rotation. Using the supplied molded common ground plug, Choose counterclockwise or clockwise by how the plug is inserted into the motor. The common in this position would be clockwise rotation lead end and flip it over and this is counterclockwise lead end. Do you need a mounting bracket? Blower motors of this type generally use belly band mounts. If the original bracket or belly band is in good shape, it's okay to reuse it. However, here's a list of the common US motor belly band kits that are available for the different brands of equipment in the field. Thanks again for your time and attention. Remember to complete the quiz if you are on MotorPro or one of our partner universities to ensure you get credit. There will be a third module available in late 2020 covering how to present or sell the Rescue Ecotech to the homeowner. Thank you again and make it a great day.